Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice exponential equation. We have x to the power x square root of x is equal to x square root of x to the power x. And we have to find the value of x. I'll be using two approaches to solve this problem. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First, let's focus on the exponent over here. We have x square root of x. And this could also be written as x times x to the power 1 half. Now from indices, if I have a to the power b times a to the power c, this is the same as a to the power b plus c. Okay, so I can write this as x to the power 1 plus one half. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to combine this one to form one fraction. And to do that, they need to have the same denominator. So I can write this one as x to the power 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2. Now that we have the same denominators, we can easily combine them. So we have x to the power 3 over 2. So in place of this whole thing, I'm going to put x to the power 3 over 2. So we have x to the power x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to... Now you realize that what is here is the same as what is in the parenthesis. So I can write this as x to the power 3 over 2 or to the power x. Okay? I'll still copy this one down. So we have x to the power x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to... Now from here in indices, if I have a to the power n or to the power m, this is the same as a to the power nm, okay? So here we have x to the power 3x over 2. Now from here, let's go ahead and then introduce natural log on both sides of the equation. So we have natural log of x to the power x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to natural log of x to the power 3x over 2. Now I'm going to move the whole of this one to this side. So we have x to the power 3 over 2, natural log of x is equal to, then I will also move this one to this side. So we have 3x over 2, natural log of x. Okay, now let's go ahead and then equate everything to zero. So we have x to the power 3 over 2, natural log of x minus 3x over 2, natural log of x, and this is equal to zero. We have ln of x here, and then it is also here as well, so we can factor it out. So we have ln of x into x to the power 3 over 2 minus 3x over 2, and this is equal to 0. Now from here, we can say that ln of x is equal to 0 or x to the power 3 over 2 minus 3x over 2 is equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and solve for x in this equation. Introducing e on the both side, we have e to the power ln of x is equal to e to the power 0. Now this one and this one will undo each other. So we have x is equal to e to the power 0 is nothing but 1. Okay. Now let's focus on this equation. I'm going to move this whole thing to the right hand side. So we have x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 3x over 2. Okay. Now let's go ahead and then divide each side of the equation by x. Okay, so this side also by x. So we have x to the power 3 over 2 minus 1 is equal to 3x over 2 times 1 over x. So we have x to the power 3 over 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1 half. And this is equal to, now this x will cancel this. So we have 3 over 2 over here. 
Now, since we are looking for x, let's go ahead and then raise each side of the equation to the second power. Okay. And straight away, these two will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to 3 squared over 2 squared. And this is equal to 9 over 4. Okay. So from this one, we have x equals 1 or x is equal to 9 over 4. Okay. So this is the first approach. Now let's focus on the second approach. From the second approach, I'm going to be solving this without introducing log. So let's get started. I'm going to keep this one. So we have x to the power x square root of x is equal to. Now from the first method, we saw that x times square root of x is the same as x to the power 3 over 2. Okay. So in place of this one, I'm going to put this one over there. So we have x to the power 3 over 2 or to the power x. Okay. So we have x to the power x square root of x is equal to, now this is the same as x to the power 3x over 2. Now you see that we have the same basis, so we can equate the exponent. So we have x square root of x is equal to 3x over 2. Now let's go ahead and divide each side of the equation by x. Okay, so this one will cancel this. Now we have square root of x is equal to 3x over 2 times 1 over x. And straight away you can see that this x will cancel this. Now we have square root of x is equal to 3 over 2. Now since we are looking for x, let's raise each side of the equation to the second power. Okay, so that this square will cancel the square root. Now we have x is equal to 3 squared over 2 squared and this is equal to 9 over 4. Okay, so you can see that x is equal to 9 over 4. Now one thing is that using this approach, you get only one value for x, which is 9 over 4. Okay, but the first approach, we got x to be 1 as well. Now let's go ahead and then verify this answer. We have x to the power x square root of x is equal to x square root of x to the power x. Okay, so when x is equal to 9 over 4, we have 9 over 4 to the power 9 over 4, then square root of 9 over 4. And this is equal to 9 over 4 square root of 9 over 4 to the power 9 over 4. Okay, now let's deal with this out first. We have 9 over 4 to the power 9 over 4. Now square root of 9 is 3, then square root of 4 is 2. Okay, and this is equal to, we have 9 over 4 times, now this side we also have 3 over 2. And this is to the power 9 over 4. Okay, so from here we have 9 over 4 to the power 9 times 3 is 27 over 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, and this is equal to, now from this side we have 9 times 3 is 27 over 4 times 2 is 8. And this is to the power 9 over 4. And guess what? Now when you punch this whole thing on a calculator, you'll be getting the left hand side to be 15.4389. Okay? Then when you punch the right hand side on a calculator as well, you'll also be getting 15.389. Okay? So you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So we can conclude that x equals 9 over 4 is a valid solution to the problem. And of course, x is equal to 1 is also a solution. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.